Welcome back to our channel. Today we will explore the classic action series Rambo, with the first three installments released between 1982 and 1988. Rambo is one of the most famous action series of the 80s with spectacular action scenes and excellent performances from the actors. So today we will reminisce and review the series again with an overview of the cast from the early days to the present. We will tell you about the original names and ages of the actors in the series and how they have changed in 2024. Now, let's find out together. Number 15, Richard Crenna was born on November 30, 1926 and played the role of Colonel Sam Trotman. He was 56 years old at the time. Colonel Sam Trotman is John Rambo's former commander and also the one who trained and developed Rambo's fighting skills while in the army. Trotman appears as a mentor, who knows Rambo better than anyone. He tries to convince the local authorities that they are dealing with a specially trained soldier and that confronting Rambo will lead to serious consequences. Trotman is not only a commander, but also the only one who can control and talk to Rambo when things go wrong. Richard Crenna's role brings balance to the film, clearly showing the role of a veteran soldier with responsibility and concern for the soldier he trained. Richard Crenna died on January 17, 2003, at the age of 76. After First Blood, he continued to participate in the sequels of the Rambo series and many other films and television shows. Number 14, Sylvester Stallone was born on July 6, 1946, and played the role of John Rambo. He was 36 years old at the time. John Rambo is a Vietnam War veteran who is known for his elite fighting skills and outstanding survival skills. Rambo returns to America with many psychological injuries and has difficulty reintegrating into normal life. In First Blood, the character Rambo confronts injustice and mistreatment from the authorities leading to a tense conflict with the local police. Sylvester Stallone's role vividly depicts the suffering and rage of forgotten veterans, highlighting the pain and intense emotions they have to endure. Sylvester Stallone is now 78 years old. After First Blood, he continued his acting career with many iconic roles in series such as Rocky and The Expendables. Stallone is not only an actor but also a screenwriter and director, contributing greatly to the development of the global film industry. Number 13, Brian Denny was born on July 9, 1938, and played the role of Sheriff Will Teasel. He was around 44 years old at the time. Sheriff Will Teasel is the main antagonist, a tough and confident man who is responsible for maintaining order in the small town. When John Rambo arrives in town, Teasel quickly sees him as a threat and attempts to banish him. This decision leads to a fierce confrontation between him and Rambo with Teasel slowly realizing that he is up against a seasoned and skilled soldier. Denny brilliantly portrays the complexity of Teasel, a man obsessed with power and control, but powerless in the face of a situation beyond his control. Brian Denny passed away on April 15, 2020, at the age of 81. After First Blood, he continued to have a successful acting career, with notable roles in films and television shows, including Cocoon Presumed Innocent and Death of a Salesman. Do you like this character in the movie? If yes, leave a comment number one. If no, leave a comment number zero. Number 12, Alf Humphreys was born on August 3, 1953, and played the role of Lester. He was 29 years old at the time. Lester is one of the deputy sheriffs in the town of Hope, where John Rambo is captured. He works under Sheriff Will Teasel and joins the pursuit of Rambo when things get out of hand. Although Lester is not a main character, he plays an important role in creating the tense and dangerous atmosphere in the film, as the town's police officers face off against a highly skilled and dangerous Vietnam veteran. Alf Humphreys passed away on January 31, 2018, at the age of 64. 
After First Blood, he continued his acting career with roles in other films and television, shows such as X-Men 2 and Final Destination. Number 11, Michael Talbot was born on February 2, 1955 and played the role of Deputy Balford. He was 27 years old at the time. Deputy Balford is one of the deputy sheriffs in the town of Hope, Washington, who participates in the pursuit of John Rambo. The character is described as someone who follows orders from his superiors and does not realize the seriousness of confronting a veteran like Rambo during the pursuit. Balford and his colleagues face unexpected dangers when Rambo uses his fighting skills to survive and defend himself in the woods. Michael Talbot's role contributed to the tension and drama in the film, clearly illustrating the lack of preparation of the police when confronting an opponent like Rambo. Currently, Michael Talbot is 69 years old. After his role in First Blood, he continued his acting career with other roles, most notably the role of Stan Swite in the television series Miami Vice. Talbot is known for his ability to portray diverse characters, from action roles to comedic roles, and he continues to be active in the entertainment industry. Number 10, Chris Mulkey was born on May 3, 1948, and played the role of Sheriff Ward. He was 34 years old at the time. Sheriff Ward is one of the supporting characters. Although not a main character, Sheriff Ward plays an important role in the story. As a member of the local police force, he is faced with chaos when John Rambo begins his war with law enforcement. Ward, like the other officers, realizes that they are dealing with an elite soldier, and this makes the situation extremely dangerous. Chris Mulkey is now 76 years old. After First Blood, he continued his acting career with many roles in other films and television shows, including Twin Peaks, Captain Phillips, and Whiplash. Number 9. David Caruso was born on January 7, 1956, and played the role of Mitch. He was 26 years old at the time. Mitch was one of Galt's team members, but did not agree with Galt's methods and did not share Art's views on Rambo. Mitch was able to show friendliness to strangers, had no conscience, and always had a thirst for justice. He could show deep empathy and sought to resolve conflicts fairly. David Caruso is currently 68 years old. After his role in First Blood, he continued his acting career with many prominent roles in other films and television shows, including leading roles in series such as Nipped Blue and CSI Miami. Number 8, Jack Sterrett was born on November 7, 1936, and played the role of Sergeant Art Galt. He was 46 years old at the time. Sergeant Art Galt was one of the hostile police officers involved in the pursuit of John Rambo. Aggressive and rude, Galt showed hostility and impatience in dealing with Rambo which contributed to the tension in the film. Jack Sterrett's performance highlighted the tension between the characters and showed the danger in the situation where the local police did not anticipate Rambo's abilities. Jack Sterrett passed away on March 27, 1989, at the age of 52. Number 7, Stephen Burkoff was born on August 3, 1937, and played the role of Podovsky. He was 48 years old at the time. Podovsky is a villain in the film, sent from the Soviet Union to assist the Vietnamese army in capturing the American army. With a tough and rather conservative personality, Podovsky did not hesitate to eliminate those he considered dangerous to him. 
Stephen Burkhoff portrayed the danger and determination of Podovsky, giving the role a distinct brutality and evil. Stephen Burkhoff is currently 87 years old. After his role in Rambo, First Blood Part II, he continued his acting career with many prominent roles in films and television shows, as well as working as a director and screenwriter. Number 6. John McLean was born on February 24, 1918, and played the role of Orval. He was 64 years old at the time. Orval was a professional hunter assigned to track down John Rombo. He respected his hunting dogs very much considering them more important than humans. Orval had a rather unkind personality and often had revenge in his actions. John McLean passed away on April 16, 1994 due to Parkinson's disease at the age of 76. Number 5. Don Mackay was born in 1940 and played Preston. He was around 37 years old at the time. Preston was one of Lester's co-workers at Hope, where he, like many others, followed Galt's orders. Preston was not inclined to object and even do things he did not like and knew when not to interfere. He was concerned about his bald head and tried to cover it up. Don McKay is now 84 years old. After his role in First Blood, he continued his acting career with many roles in other films and television shows. Number 4. Bill McKinney was born on September 12, 1931 and played the role of Kern. He was 51 years old at the time. Kern was a member of the Washington State Police, serving as a captain. He did not allow himself to go beyond the scope of his duties and had a negative view of corruption. McKinney's character was stern and uncompromising, which added to the tension and setting of the confrontation with John Rambo. Bill McKinney passed away on September 10, 2011, at the age of 80 due to cancer. Number 3. Charles Napier was born on April 12, 1936, and played the role of Murdoch. He was 46 years old at the time. Murdoch was a secret intelligence officer in charge of the operation to rescue the prisoners. He was skillful in manipulating situations, often hiding the truth and not caring much about the fate of others. Napier's role in First Blood showed Murdoch's ruthlessness and calculation, contributing to the tension and complexity of the story. Charles Napier passed away on October 5, 2011, at the age of 75. After his role in First Blood, he continued his acting career with many prominent roles in other films and television shows. Number 2. Martin Cove was born on March 6, 1946, and played the role of Erickson. He was 39 years old at the time. Erickson is a helicopter pilot who works under Murdoch's command in the prisoner rescue mission. Although Erickson has an important mission, transporting Rambo and assisting in other operations, he does not always agree with the instructions of his superiors. Erickson is somewhat weak and is not willing to stand up for or support anyone, which shows the character's inner conflict and unstable personality. Martin Cove is currently 78 years old. After his role in Rambo, First Blood Part II, he continued his acting career with many notable roles in other films and television shows, including the role of John Kreese in The Correct Kid and its sequels. Number 1. Marcus Gilbert was born on July 29, 1958, and played the role of Tom Ask. He was 30 years old at the time. Tom Ask is a supporting character who works alongside Zason in the extermination of the Mujahideen population. The character is not known for his mercy and does not care how many innocent people he kills, including women and children. Tom Ask is often used to spy and attack from the air, showing his ruthlessness and lack of humanity. Marcus Gilbert is currently 66 years old. After his role in Rombo II, he continued his acting career with various roles in other films and television shows.
Thank you for joining us on this journey through the cast of Rambo 2024. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to support us. Don't forget to leave a comment and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. See you in the next video.